Russell Nyman. Give him four, which will be double his tally. Will make him feel a little bit better. 96. I think Marcus played quite well today. Just a few key missed doubles and a few dodgy darts here and there. I think he's held himself together quite well against an onslaught from certain players. But arguably, he has a, the hardest task of all at this point in time against Russell Nyman. But the first 180 of the game goes the way of the Welshman. 58. Russell knows what he has to do now. He has to win this game. He has to win the next game that he has against Jason Askew. And he has to beat Aaron Mugg at the end. He's going to have a chance. 45. If he wins all three, he's got to win them handsomely as well. Mark Webster on tens has had a very impressive first leg with two 180s. Clocked it in 12. Somebody has flicked Mark Webster's switch. I, for one, am very happy to see it. Russell Nyman is defeated by Mark Webster. He is out of the running. He cannot win the league. 140. One of the reasons for that. So the three. game he had against Mike Warburton, which was 4-3 to Warby. And Nyman didn't do much wrong. So 86. Marcus started this leg just as fruitfully as he did the last 59. one. Looking for a 105 plus to get himself to a finish. Five. It'll be the end of the world because Wessel only getting 59 on the last visit. Four, four, same two. range, but no longer. Needs to stay on the 20s. 100. Sensible. 130 you'd rather have than 128 or possibly 131. Game in three. Wessel clocks the 79 with a really neatly thrown third dart to answer that first leg on slow. Spider. I don't actually know many people who call him Spider. I don't even think he's a Spider Man fan. 95. Everybody just calls him Webby. Time. I've been fortunate enough to get known very well around the world. We've been to trips around the world like Australia, Canada, the United States. To this day, I still believe that his favourite dish is liver and onions. He's a bit old school as all well, I'm pretty confident in saying that's probably not Wessel's favourite dish. He's from the Netherlands, so it's probably got something to do with cheese. 60. Can Mark fend off the youngster? 140. That 140 does not help Mark score. Let's face it. There's no real pressure on Mark here, 85. but the pressure we put on ourselves as players is always enough to make you feel a little bit jittery. 75. As Nyman lines up, double 16, Webby will go 19s first and hope for a shot at tops. 99. Oh, just underneath. Excellent effort. Wessel. Game in the win gets himself in front and he's in no mood to hang around. Just to go through Wessel's predicament, one on four points. Three games remaining this one, the Askew game and the Monk game. 
He's got to bridge a gap of okay, eight three. legs to Mike Warburton on plus ten. So Russell Nyman on plus two. So if you divide that up, if he wins this plus game, it's four two against Mark Webster. That's plus four he would be on, and he'd still have to bridge a, a six leg gap to Warby. Tough ask. Oh, which is why he wants to win this four one. Since the urgency of the youngster. Doesn't want to allow Mark to get back into this game. Even though Mark was the one who started the stronger. 65. Scores a ton. 140. 140 and a 65. Leave Wessel on 56 after 12. He's gone the 20 WAT route, and that is lethal. From 1 0 down, he has gone bananas. Maybe not to the extent of earlier when he lost the 1 1 3 average, but he's been criminal. In these kind of spots, that's exactly what you're after. 440. He's deceptively fast, Russell Nyman, when he gets going. And you can get swept up at his pace. I think that's what yeah, is happening cool. with Mark Webster. Is he happy playing a little bit faster? Maybe. One thing we do know is that Wessel's very comfortable. 97. to a finish Webster. It's a big one. 60. He doesn't have to take it out now. Wessel unable to follow him. Oh, a bit of a slip into that small three. It's just made the task a little harder. 99. Interesting switch there from Wessel. But Mark has one dot at double 11. 62. Pushes it slightly. And this is 105 for the match. Could be a key out. Not able to get to double 18 after that treble five stars. 53. And if Mark takes this leg. Could scupper chances for, for Nyman in the leg difference counter. But is it blocked? Oh, Webby. How has that missed? How has that missed? It looked impossible not to go in. Missed single from Wessel. One dart though. 20. And he misses the double 16. It's take two on double eleven. This time it's inside. Oh. He hits the double three oh. and busts the score. Furious with himself not to get that chance in the bank. And Nyman has double eight. Sixteen. And misses. I feel like we've been here before. Double 11 is hit. I'll reiterate, losing that leg, Wessel Nyman may have backed himself into a corner for winning today. 58. He may lose the match now, because match darts have gone begging. 60. So we've got a bit attritional after an explosive start.
each other on Tuesday. It was Wessel Nyman who succeeded in getting the win, but it was four legs to three. We could still reach that point. 58. Some of the stuffing has definitely been knocked out of Wessel Nyman after those mismatched darts. And we know that Mark Webster can finish a match off. Did so earlier with a 170 out. Does that change everything? First under 100 points. But Webster with the easier out. Wessel. It's for the match. Oh, now he needs 85. Double 14. 58. And another match dog goes for begging. Webster can make this match go even further with double 16. Uh, Unable to get it. And Wessel will be hoping that one of these goes in double 14. Or double 7. Which it does. It takes a four leg to two victory to keep his hopes alive of winning the league today. If he is going to do so, he's going to have to win his next two games handsomely. Simple as that.